talking about how to write your supplemental essays. So first, we're going to talk about the general uh, supplemental essays that usually colleges have. So the first one is, why this school? I think there's two general formats for the why school essay. Um, the first one that is more common, I think, is just explaining what programs that you're interested in and how they would benefit you personally. And the second format, which I find really effective for longer Y school essays that are around like 300 to like 500 words, um, is literally like uh, painting a story kind of of you at that school. Those essays are more narrative style and they're like first person describing you on campus versus an essay that's more matter of fact and concise. What I did is like, I wrote at the beginning of each, I did like really small paragraphs and at the beginning of each paragraph I wrote like the time of day and so I started by waking up in whatever like yeah. fictional dorm I was in and then I went through like classes like very specifically like professors names, classes like related to my major and then I went to like an extracurricular meeting of something that was related to my yeah. major or interest at that school. You have to pay attention to like what exactly the why is asking like sometimes it's geared more towards the program itself or versus like the community yeah. and sometimes it asks about both. Regardless of the format that you're using, um, make sure that you don't list too many like departments or classes or things. Like if it becomes a list where they're just reading off like, oh, I'm going to this program and I'm also part of this program and I like this class, but you don't explain why you like it or why it's important to you or why you specifically want to do that program at that school, then it's kind of pointless to just like bullet point list it off. You need to contextualize yourself in those programs like based on your interest. I see myself in this because blah blah blah. Better to elaborate on less things offered at that school and like really explain them well versus like choosing a lot and talking about each of them for like half a sentence. There's like an extreme of being really specific but listing out too many things and there's an extreme where you're not being specific enough and you're just saying oh I like this school because its campus is nice or the weather is nice like don't ever Say you want to go to school because its campus is nice. Pretend that like you like leave out the name of the school in the essay, but like a person who knows like the differences between schools can read that and kind of still identify what school it is. Like it has to be that distinct enough, but it also like it has to be very personal and unique to you. If it's a type of essay where you can just fill in the blanks or copy and paste that Y school essay for a different school, then you're probably not being specific enough. The next type of general essay that we're going to talk about is why are you interested in blank? So like, what concentration or major you're interested in. So for me, I was interested in human biology for most of the schools I applied to, or molecular biology. So for those essays, I stay specific to programs within that department. And I like talked about what programs at that school were really relevant to me. And I think for those essays, you kind of just need to be candid about why you're interested in it, or what got you interested, or if your perspective changed after for example, reading a book or something. You don't have yeah. that though. No, I, think I, I did, did not. one I like Y major. What I did is like I kind of brought in some anecdotes from like because like a lot of my extracurriculars related to like business. So I kind of brought in some anecdotes, but then I put like how I continue to pursue these interests at this school of choice because I think like it could really like boost my interests and offer me a lot of professional opportunities that I didn't have in high school. So it's kind of like a timeline more, but like you like really put yourself in the future perspective like Mesa like mention the programs that you're interested in like how you see yourself in that school. Also want to mention like if you have any like relevant past experience that you haven't like already glossed over in any other essays or like in another part of the common app that like would be really relevant in that case especially if it has to do with pre-med if you like volunteered um, somewhere at a hospital and then that really gave you like enough insight to like really commit to like the like a medical path like that would be important to mention mm -hmm. for like a program. What's the last one? <laughs> activity essay. Wait, what is that again? So the last type of general essay that we're going to talk about is the general activity essay. So generally a lot of, uh, generally, generally a lot of 
uh, <laughs> colleges in their supplemental essay section will ask you to elaborate more on one activity that you did. So this is pretty much just an extracurricular essay where you can talk about something that you've been doing for a long time. Well, for me, I did my activity essay on WISDEM, which is the Women in STEM club at my school because my narrative was shaped around science, art, and like empowering women in science. So that was kind of like the essay that really made it clear that that's what I wanted to like come through. I had a lot of activities in my activity section. Like some of them like didn't seem as significant as others, but I still wanted to highlight that what I was doing was like it was like like cool, right? Like <laughs> like I don't want to say it like that, but um I I like like the activity section only has so many words you can use or characters you can use to describe it and I like specifically picked one that was related to my interest but that was kind of different from everything else but that you can't really like gauge how like what it is and what you actually do through just the activity section yeah it wasn't necessarily activity that I thought the, was the most important because I think I highlighted that more in my calm nap but it was an activity yeah. that I thought was it was still like really important to my high school career and I really wanted to highlight specific parts of it that I couldn't in the activity section. I'm glad Haley brought that up because when I was applying I felt really pressured to include like one major essay just talking about music because violin was kind of my main thing in high school. Everyone knew that I was in the orchestra so I felt like that was a big part of me that I needed to portray but I ended up not really talking about music in most of my essays just because I thought there was more to me than music and like looking back it was a good choice because in college I'm not really going to be pursuing music as much. Don't feel pressured to write about something just because that's like your main extracurricular. If you want to talk about something that's more interesting or something that could elicit more about yourself then do that instead. Now we're going to move on to how to write supplemental essays for specific colleges. We're going to be talking about Stanford, Brown, sorry, <laughs> Northwestern um, because those are schools that we got into and we're also going to touch on USC and Michigan because Haley really wants to talk about Michigan. I did it! Okay! <laughs> we're going to go over USC very briefly in the spirit of Anuva who's not here right now. Um, so there's two essays. There's a choice essay and then there's a why USC essay. Um, and the prompt that I wrote mine on was describe something outside of your intended academic focus. For my essay, I talked about slam poetry because that was something I was really interested in at the time and I still am. I just think it's a really cool art form. Anuva wrote in response to the same question, um, but she wrote about cooking, which I think is very interesting. That essay I feel like is really fun because it's like low pressure and you can talk about something that you're interested in that makes you seem more like a human being. I reused a lot of my Stanford essays. So I'll just talk about in this like what I wrote about for my Stanford essays and like know that like one of them also applied to the what is something about yourself that is essential. You can just use what you already wrote for your for other like successful essays that you know you did well on. In my Northwestern essay, I emphasized how I like am passionate about like medicine but I adore the humanities and I wouldn't want to like give either of those up so I would pursue that kind of like interdisciplinary interdisciplinary education so I talked about a lot of those things for like the Johns Hopkins essay and the USC essay and like that kind of thing in my why statement I made sure that I, in a, along with my academic interest I said something like oh and I'll attend like football games and like like rallies and like things like that yeah and so like if you heavily emphasize on something that they're really like as a school they're kind of known for a specific aspect of the school that's more unique to that school itself mm. like school spirit in like this case yeah and you could really like enough. emphasize that like that's one of the reasons why you're attracted to that school because that also makes it yeah. less, like a general why statement. yeah you yeah. can include community based things not just like extracurriculars and classes and academic things but you also want to be aware of the word limit that's yeah. placed on you for whatever school it is like if it's 150 yeah. then you'll want to be really careful about what you talk about and be more yeah specific. make sure you emphasize the right thing yeah, like don't yeah. emphasize like partying at a school go trojans oh yeah talk about michigan i applied to the business school with like ross um and they had very unique supplemental essays i would say and it was like one is like present an artifact about yourself and another was like present a business solution and like I think like a lot of the times I was worried about the creativity aspect but like for the business solution one I think they're looking for a more of like like can you think in a logical straightforward yet like unique perspective on business and so I think I, I literally wrote about like how my school didn't have parking like monetize some system like with the parking lots around and like and then for my artifact I literally <laughs> 
sent in a rap that I wrote <laughs> like, <laughs> during my Mall, uh, like a Mall United Nations conference, and it, it was supposed to show my unconventional thinking. I I remember like distinctly my best essay from Michigan was definitely the why statement because I like I I mentioned earlier I did like the timetable, but I really emphasized on like the fact that Michigan really focuses on the aspect of community because they have a really big like alumni network and different job opportunities uh, especially with the Ross Business School and so I really emphasize like I'll bleed blue till the very end or something like which is like the phrase for Michigan a lot of people apply early and you have like a much better chance of getting in early if strategically like you're applying to other schools that allow you to apply in Michigan like really try fitting in the time to apply early but I'm gonna talk about my beloved school Brown <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> Brown has like a stereotype for being really weird yeah, and I think to an wrong. extent yeah it's <laughs> kind of true to an extent um so I like I really like Brown supplemental essay section because they're very short and there's a lot of questions so I believe there's five essays in total and the first four I think are 100 words or 150 words and uh, the last one is just the activity essay that we already talked about. The first essay was, why are you interested in your concentration? And for that essay, I talked about um, a book, When Breath Becomes Air. Everyone, I think everyone knows that book. It really explores the meaning of life through a philosophical and scientific lens, which I thought was super interesting. So I talked about that the impact of that book on my scientific endeavors. Kathy nods vigorously. <laughs> Showing a turning point in your perspective for essays like that can work really well. The second essay was Why Brown? So I I kind of took a risk last minute because I was originally going to do the concise kind of listing type of format, but then I ended up changing to the narrative, which I somehow condensed into like a hundred and something words. I talked about the ugly statues at Brown because that I really like them, like when I visited campus, like I really wanted to talk about them. And I also talked about how like their books, their like human anatomy books are bound in human skin. And I was like, that's really dope. So Aww. yeah, when I toured campus, I took notes about like interesting things that my tour guide said. I incorporated some of those facts or interesting things that I learned into my essays. And I think it benefited me. The third essay was to talk about a community that you've been a part of. So that essay, I actually took the opportunity to write about music. That one was kind of a boring essay. I just talked about how like, my music organization's goal is to bring music outside of the concert halls to more unconventional audiences in like senior centers, and how we fundraise. So it talked about how music has helped me grow as a person. And then my last essay, besides the activity essay, was about where I've grown up. And at first when I read this essay prompt, I was like, oh shit, like I'm not gonna have anything interesting to write because I've lived in the same house for my entire life. So I thought, oh, like I'm just gonna write about like, what me living in my house. But I actually found a way to make it more creative and I think this prompt is where you really need to test your creativity. Um, so I wrote about how I've kind of like developed through each part of my house. It sounds really weird, but I talked about how like there's like a bookshelf in my house and on one end is this book and on the other end is another book and it shows like my intellectual growth yeah I kind of just talked about interesting things around my house and like memories that stuck out to me they don't have to be like intellectual it doesn't have to be about your major because you already talked about that it can be about a family tradition or a park near your house I don't know like that that question is a lot more open-ended than you think it is so you don't have to answer it literally or you could take that essay as an opportunity to explain your family circumstances if you need it. Take it away. <laughs> Northwestern! There's one essay. Yeah, yeah, one essay. So technically it's optional, but like that doesn't mean it's optional. Yeah, like, unless optional, you're that like, an Olympian or you cured cancer. So basically it's asking about how Northwestern will contribute to like your goals and like to talk specifically about like what kind of resources you'll use at the school. Um, and it's like 300 words so i mentioned a few like specific classes but i also talked about like specific lectures that i would attend or like how i envisioned myself um like painting the rock which is like a school tradition that like people take part of or like uh what's what's that thing called um <laughs> ghost like, school doesn't like... know what it's called <laughs> <laughs> wildcat welcome like that's when they welcome all the freshmen so like i really tried to like plan myself 
concretely as in in this in a like picture. yeah like Put as a student there. i wanted them to see me like as a student there and really <laughs> like see that as a possible like make that seem like as much of a reality as possible yeah <laughs> i don't know i feel like so should i just be done do i not talk about my school <laughs> oh shit you know that was stanford yeah <laughs> yeah guys we were gonna oh yeah we were gonna end the video we're gonna talk about stanford now well, oh if you're applying, I'm sure you know of how unconventional the prompts are. Um, because, you know, they used to have the conventional why statement, but they took it away oh, and replaced it. Because everyone wants to go to Stanford. They replaced it. The three prompts are what matters to you, write a letter to your roommate, and... <laughs> Intellectual vitality. Oh! oh And before I go into this, I would say like I'm just talking about my essays because the types of essays they receive are very multifaceted and diverse and like there's not really going to be one that's similar to the other and it's like you can really test the waters of creativity I would say. The first prompt I'll talk about is intellectual vitality and what I did for that was I kind of said like oh like before this event like I thought like the definition of success was the formulaic um, like doing research and um, preparing as much as you can and blah 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 and like in this case I was at a Mali United Nations conference with actually like Anuva was my partner but basically <laughs> um, I usually prepare and I do all of the proper methods like look at research papers, look at past like resolutions, things like that the conventional formulaic um, how to be successful at Mali UN and um, Basically what we did instead was procrastinate till the night before. Instead of, you know, being super impressive with our um, statistics and numbers, we uh, came up with a rap there. Like on the spot instead, I had one experience that kind of changed my realm of what I defined success as and how in a way where you don't always have to follow the formula of success or like studying a lot, doing a lot of research. Like there are ways outside of that where you can be successful in the ac inside and outside of the academic realm. I talked about how I made the rap and how it changed my uh, perceptions of intellectuality and um, success and things like that. And so that was just like a met like a way of unconventional thinking and there's a lot of opportunities where you have intellectual vitality but basically what they're asking is give us like a scenario or describe something in a way that really shows like your unique way of thinking and comprehending things. The second essay I'll talk about is uh, what matters to me. You can really like talk about whatever you want. It's one of the essays where I had to spend a lot of time just like thinking like what is something that matters to me that I haven't highlighted otherwise and I think I wrote about um social entrepreneurship how like it really exposes you to different parts and walks of life and how I valued that like not not like the typical like I value diversity and like talking to like everyone blah 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 but like I tried to put that in the context of an interest I had already emphasized and like I I just said like I really much valued relationships and exploring and understanding people and in that way like that also related to my interest and so it was just kind of a unique perspective that combined two things that I really wanted to emphasize. You only get 250 words for each of these essays so you want to make sure like when they read it they're like they know something new about you like not something that they've read so many times before. The last essay is the one that like I'm sure like a lot of people had the most difficulty with. Write a letter to your roommate essay and so this is like kind of the one where I think they're looking for the most like you can really like test the wires of creativity um, but what I wrote about is something that you know you probably won't understand <laughs> like what? I mean <laughs> was this a Pluto yeah. essay? Yeah. oh my god oh, I like oh, um, good times. so I'm gonna like very briefly explain it you're probably still not gonna understand but I basically made an analogy to Pluto it's the why? planet not the dog the planet yeah Pluto like the planet like or the now not really a planet. It's basically like kicked out of like the the planet squad, the the solar, solar system planet. crew. Like I like I said it like that. Oh my and God, you said that. I kind of just had fun with it. But basically, I was like, yeah, like like Pluto was like was like kicked out there, but like nothing really changed about Pluto. Pluto is still like watching out for us, and like it doesn't really. It's like a floating definition. It's not defined as a planet. And it's kind of just out there, but it's like always there, no matter what you call it. And so I kind of like made an analogy to Pluto and that like you can give me like whatever whatever labels you want like your best friend your your roommate forever like blah 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 but, like what matters is that like I'll always be like watching over I'll always like be there for you and I just kind of used a 
creative analogy with Pluto to represent myself as a roommate who's really flexible to many roles and to like adventuring and trying out new things with whoever I room with at Stanford and that um, I would always be there for them no matter like what they saw me as or what label they would give me. I know the prompts are very unconventional but you don't have to pull out like the weirdest idea possible that from the back corners of your mind and use it because you still want it to be something that's like that might be like unique, but it's still like important to who you are and that you can very easily talk about in your essays. You just have to pace yourself. Yeah. And you have to understand for like the hard prompts, like you can, you don't have to write them right away, but you have to like kind of like think of what yeah. you want to write and let it sit with, with you. Yeah. Otherwise you're going to like the day before you're going to be like, I'm just going to write a trashy essay because I have nothing to think of. Take risks with your essays, write about things that you actually care about, start early. Understand and that each of you has a unique story. <laughs> Be you. Be you. I <laughs> hope you found this video useful and let us know how your college applications go. Yay! Bye! Bye! Good luck! I'm done. <laughs> oh no, I just had an ugly eye. <laughs>